Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, colleagues. I am Council Member Vanessa Gibson of the 16th District in the Bronx, and I'm proud to chair the Committee on Public Safety. This morning, we will be voting on proposed intro 1000B, which is legislation that will require the NYPD to report on seized property data on an annual basis and to remove an existing requirement concerning reporting on the disposition of certain unclaimed property. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this bill, Councilmember Richie Torres, for sponsoring this important piece of legislation. I'd also like to thank the members of the Public Safety Committee who are here, our minority leader, Councilmember Steve Matteo, uh, Councilmember James Vaca, Councilmember Vincent Gentili, Councilmember Heim Deutsch, and Councilmember Rory Lansman. When a person is arrested, their money, their vehicle, or other personal property must be dealt with. And so the police department has promulgated rules to establish certain procedures to be followed with respect to the custody and the disposition of property by the NYPD. This legislation will provide transparency regarding the seizure, the vouchering, the classification, and the return of the property by requiring an annual report detailing such data for the preceding calendar year disaggregated by borough and police precinct. The circumstances of an arrest may be complicated or sometimes chaotic, and dealing with one's personal property often adds to this confusion. Depending on a variety of factors, property may be held or kept by the department after an arrest and without full transparency surrounding this process, individuals may be left feeling they have been robbed of their property and denied due process. As more light is shed on the processes surrounding arrest property across the country, many local and state legislatures are considering changes to make the process more user-friendly, such as creating tracking systems for a seized property and other measures that promote transparency. Strengthening the relationship between the community and the police department continues to be one of our top priorities, and this legislation will work to advance that goal by providing additional oversight and transparency into the process by which personal property is recovered or held by the NYPD after an arrest. I want to thank the prime sponsor, Richie Torres, for the legislation. This legislation has been in process for quite some time when we had a hearing on this last year. And so I want to thank the st all the stakeholders and advocates that really um, raised the level of awareness around what has been happening with many individuals and their personal property. I hope all of my colleagues will join me in voting in favor of this legislation. And I'd also like to thank the staff that really worked very, very hard on this legislation. Our committee counsel, Deepa Ambakar, our Legislative Council, Beth Golub, our Legislative Policy Analyst, Casey Addison, and our Legislative Financial Analyst, Steve Reister. And with that, do any of my colleagues have any questions pertaining to the legislation on today's agenda? And hearing none, I will ask our clerk, our Billy Martin, to please call the roll. Thank you, colleagues, for joining us this morning. Lee Barton, committee clerk, will call a vote. Committee on Public Safety, introduction 1000B. Chair Gibson. I vote aye. Gentili. I vote aye. Vaca. Aye. Deutsch. Aye. Lansman. Aye. Matteo. Aye. We have a vote of six in the affirmative, zero on the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you very much, colleagues, and we're going to keep the roll open for the next half hour. Thank you again for joining us.